on a huge adventure. I decided to go sailing for two weeks on the Mediterranean. The first time I had ever put my foot on a sailing boat. I was petrified, terrified that I would not like it and get stuck on the boat for two weeks. But what shocked me was that I was treated differently just because I was a girl. You have to have a bit of the strength to work on a ship. So girls were kind of out of the picture when it came to some particular activities. I was disappointed because I came there to sail too. I wanted to do all that work too. So last year I decided to stand up for myself. And I didn't take your boat strong enough for an answer. When my friend Nina, we almost all alone, put on a sail and I will brag. It was said to be done the best by the captain. Gender gaps are a problem which touches everyone, despite their job, background, religion, or color of skin. We all think about underestimating women in a big adult world, but it actually starts with toys and kids, and then it grows and develops during our adult Were you born a blue one or a pink one? Were you playing with dolls or with cards? Were you thought to be strong and smart or pretty and charming? There's nothing in between. And we can definitely see that differences during our lives. For example, with our careers, women in STEM are only 26% of the world. When I look closer on engineers, it's only 14%. And it all comes from toys and kids, as I said. Construction toys, mainly designed for boards, are scientifically proved to help develop spatial skills, which are crucial for the engineering job. And we are told that they just naturally don't have them. It's not like that. Our childhood has a huge influence on our then, the later life and career. Women are underrepresented in quite a few professions. It's also in business. But before I come to that, we are segregated also when it comes to colors. We are either a blue one or a pink one. There's nothing in between. And Marlon Red, an associate professor at Oregon State University, said that children self-declared hues are totally socially constructed. And that pink is the color that boys like until they're told not to like it. So we have a huge influence on our kids. So next time you will go to your niece, nephew, or cousin at the party, really think about the person you're buying. You can inspire the child to pursue a career that they really like, not the society expect them to like. Coming back to profession. We can definitely see underrepresented women in business. My mom owns a firm. It is a firm run by two women, two intelligent and great in their profession people. They cannot count the times that they haven't been taken seriously just because they are women. Every time we place a contract with a new client, especially bigger firm, they have to prove their value. People at the other end of the phone wanting to speak with someone in charge, expect a man. We cannot imagine a woman being a leader. And we shouldn't judge our business partners by their gender. We should judge by their skills, motivation, and experience, because that is what really matters. Women are also represented when it comes to politics. In European Parliament, 63% of the members are men. That is almost 200 more male and female members of the parliament. I think it comes from women being out of the picture when it comes to being in charge for such a long time. And also we tell girls that they are the weaker sex, that they don't have the strength and they should just keep quiet and sit down and be charming and pretty. I think we should encourage girls to speak up for themselves, to pursue their future careers, and not be afraid to shop in glasses. Another example of a girl 
crossing boundaries is my sister. She's a handball player. It's not easy to find a role model for a girl in sports. When women tournaments and leagues are not often shown in mass media, we only see men playing sports. Have you ever seen a woman ski jumping or playing football on public TV? I think women who are playing sports are usually worried about looking too muscular or too athletic. When they are too good, they are told that there must be something wrong with them because a woman cannot be that strong. It's not like that. Women can break and hold more records. What, what, what? I think we should really encourage girls from the youngest early ages to do sports because they can really express themselves that way. And then they shouldn't be restrained just because of their appearance. They have to do the hobbies that they like. Also, we have to stop using the word girl as an offensive one. What does it mean to you? Run like a girl, fight like a girl. It's an offense for us. And it shouldn't be. The word that describes me, describes my gender, shouldn't offend me. We should change that right now. Just crush the wall in our heads and stop start encouraging girls from the youngest ages. I also want you to stop hating and fearing the word feminist, because there's nothing to be afraid about. Feminism is not about anger, domination, or violence. It's all about equality. Because a feminist is a person who believes in social, political, and economic equality of sex. I call myself a feminist, and so should